Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with the Suicide Squad book tag. It was originally created by Rose Books, so I'll leave her link down below if you want to check her out. I wasn't actually tagged by anybody, but I recently discovered Harley Quinn and I am obsessed with her and I want to be her, so I googled to see if there was a Suicide Squad book tag and there is, so I instantly knew I needed to do it. Basically, what you're doing is creating your own Suicide Squad, so without further ado, let us get started! The first character is Harley Quinn and you are supposed to pick a kick-ass, optionally crazy female heroine. And I am picking Alice from Alice in Zombieland by Jenna Shulwater. Alice is such a badass. Fight zombies and I just think that she would be a super cool person to have on my squad. Because if you can kill zombies, you can probably kill anything. Just saying. The next character is Deadshot, and it is a character who had good intentions but went down the wrong path. I'm going with Dr. Ireland from The Lunar Chronicles. He had good intentions with what he was doing. Don't want to get too into it because spoilers! But he ended up not being able to fulfill what he wanted to. He definitely had good intentions, so I'm gonna pick him. And Also, he would be super good to have on your squad because he's like a doctor, and he can do experimental things that could benefit you guys in the long run. Next is Rick Flagg, and this is supposed to be the leader of your group, and I am going with Jace from The Mortal Instruments. I just think that everybody listens to him and what he has to say, and everybody turns to him, and he is impulsive but he usually ends up picking the right decision in the end. Also, I just would want to stare at him a lot, so he's gonna be on my squad. Next is Boomerang, and this is supposed to be your squad's jokester, and although I don't think he would be very much help in fighting or anything like that, I'm going to say Cullen from Since You've Been Gone, just because I think he would provide so much comic relief. Honestly, we could just leave him behind when we go to fight people, but I think he would be hilarious to have with his little quirky comments that he makes. Him? or Will Herondale from The Infernal Devices, because Will Herondale would be able to help you, but he could get annoying and on my nerves. Next is Slipknot, and this is a character with a unique talent, and I am going with Fletcher from the Sumner series. This is the first book, The Novice, and it's by Turan Mathuru. Fletcher basically has the ability to summon demons. I think this would be very helpful because he could just be like, boom, summon this demon and help us fight, and I think this could come in handy. Next is Enchantress, and this is supposed to be your wild card. I'm going to go with Deanna Madden from The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tours. Deanna really likes killing people, so she locks herself into this apartment 6E and basically hides herself from the world. And, you know, if you released this girl, things would get wild. That's all I'm gonna say. Next is Killer Croc, and this is supposed to be your heavy hitter. And I am going with Henry Welp from Dust City by Robert Paul Weston. Henry is actually a wolf, and he is the son of the wolf who killed Little Red Riding Hood. And basically, if you need a heavy hitter, why would you not get a wolf man? I mean, it just makes sense to me. Next is El Diablo, and it is supposed to be a character who feels guilt towards his actions. I'm going to say Nathan from Half Bad by Sally Green. I wouldn't say he feels guilty about his actions, but he feels guilty about who he is and who his father is and what his father has done. So I'm going to say it counts, and also I just think Nathan is a badass, so I want him on my team. Next is Katana, and it is supposed to be a volunteer to your squad, somebody you would want on your squad no matter what. And I'm going to say Tessa Gray from the Infernal Devices trilogy by Cassandra Clare. Honestly. I don't know if I would want her on my squad based on her personality, she's kind of whiny. But at times she can be pretty badass. I would want her on my squad because of her ability and her talent. I think it would come in handy with a bunch of fights that we would have to do because she would be able to do a lot of things that other people wouldn't be able to do if she didn't have this talent. And finally, you have to pick a Joker who is your squad's target and I am going to say James from The Magician by D.A. Poopa. He is basically a serial killer psychopath and you know if we can get rid of him why not get rid of him but honestly i would kind of want him on my squad because he is so cool the way that his mind works and the way he calculates the things that he does is so fascinating so i kind of want him on my squad but then i feel like he'd probably kill us all so i mean we can make him our target next thing you're supposed to do is tag people so i am going to tag magical molly because she loves harley quinn so she needs to be tagged and i tag everybody else who's watching because 
I don't know if anybody likes Suicide Squad. I definitely am very excited to watch the movie. So I will see you all in my next video. Good.